soil testing met plenty of opposition today. Our Durham Bureau Chief Larry Ravel has been following the story all day and is standing by live with the latest. Larry, I understand protesters are keeping up the pressure. They sure are, Val, and as a matter of fact, this is one fight the protesters do not plan to lose. Many protesters were emotional and went to some extreme measures today to get their point across. This is becoming a familiar sight in Butner. Protesters pulling out all the stops to keep away a hazardous waste incinerator. Highway patrolmen were keeping a close eye on the protesters, hoping there would be no trouble. A bus was brought in just in case there were arrests. Lawmen tied a yellow ribbon between two trees to keep protesters from going past the state-owned Umstead Farm entrance site. We get arrested if we touch the No, you can't go beyond where they got it roped off in. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say Protesters say they are not just concerned about themselves, but also nearly 2,000 patients at nearby state institutions like Murdoch Center. And I feel like uh, the years that I work at Murdoch Center, I've done everything I could for the care of the people I work for and to protect their rights. And I'm out here today because I still want to protect their rights. Virginia has already been arrested once for protesting, but was at it again today. So is Dick Nelson. He's been arrested twice for protesting and spent almost a whole day in jail. And I'll be back again and again, if that's what it takes. Protesters hesitated for a moment before stepping aside and allowing soil testing trucks to come through. Someone threw an effigy of Governor Jim Martin in front of the moving trucks. Frustration and anger among protesters began to show. One protester, obviously upset about the testing trucks being allowed to pass through, had some choice words for all the law officers. You should be protecting us. They're the ones that are trespassing. Now, unlike the previous two times, there were no arrests today, but Val protesters say they will continue to keep up the pressure against this hazardous waste incinerator. Larry, what's the next step for the protesters? Val, some of the protesters are talking about getting a court-ordered injunction which would prevent any further testing on this Umstead Farm site. They're also planning on having a meeting tomorrow morning to uh, plan what their next step will be.